Welcome our gubernatorial candidate here, Simi. Get up here, buddy. Constitution Day dinner. So let's just start there, and then I'm going to be an update on how we're doing in terms of the campaign. <coughs> and the reason why, because Island County stepped up. From day one, Island County showed me love. I remember. I remember when I did you showed me love. And you to stand by and thank you and God bless you for that. Thank you for that. And I won't forget it ever. And uh, when Tim asked, um, we moved some stuff around. Tim knows we did, because that's what we do. I remembered, I remembered that you were there for me. I will always be there for you. And we're going to talk about what's happening with the The Constitution. We the people. We the people of the United States, in order to form a more perfect union, establish justice. Ensure domestic tranquility, provide for the common defense, promote the general welfare, and ensure the blessings of liberty to ourselves and our posterity to ordain and establish this Constitution for the United States of America. That is why we are here. That is why we are here. And if you ever looked at the Constitution, Big and bold, you cannot miss it. We the people. We the people. That in and of itself is talking about self governance. Self governance. Article 1, Section 1 of the Washington State Constitution speaks to that power is inherent in the people. And that governments derive their just powers from the governed, the consent of the governed. And government's responsibility is to protect and to maintain individual rights. That of its citizens. What is the commonality? It is we, the citizens, that have always held the power in the United States of America. This is what a constitutional republic is about. This is why we are different than any other nation. This is the essence of our nation's laws. We the people. And so when we talk about what's happening in America today, America today, with all this division, all this racial discourse, that is not America. It has nothing to do with America. America is the nation of diversity, and don't be afraid of that word. Don't you dare. Look back at your history, our history. We came from all over the world to this this beautiful place, all countries, all religions, all cultures came here. You remember that phrase, the melting pot? Yeah. yeah. That melting pot, all colors. And what did it result in? We have black Americans. We have Asian Americans. We have Irish Americans. But what is the commonality in all those phrases? American. What is it? American. What is it? American. That is right. We are not ashamed of who we are. We shall not be ashamed of our heritage. We are America, and we are Americans. We the people. And so when people talk about equity, don't be afraid of that word. Martin Luther King Jr. fought for and died for the soul of America. The soul of America. But what he fought for, what he talked about, that is forgotten. He said that the Declaration of Independence, we hold these truths to be self-evident, that all men are created equal, 
endowed by the Creator to certain unalienable rights, which among these are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. But he referred to the Declaration and the Constitution as magnificent documents. And when MLK fought and died for was equality of opportunity and not equity of outcome. Because in America, we have the liberties and the freedoms and the opportunities to achieve what we believe in America, regardless of race, creed, or color in America. We must never, we shall never, and how dare us to allow any special interest groups to manipulate or transform or misrepresent who we are, what we are, or where we come from. You see, when you're born here, whether by, by, by birth, naturalized, however you become a citizen, that piece of paper makes you a shareholder in this beautiful nation. Yeah. We all have a stake. And in this constitutional republic, our voices matter, our words matter, our efforts matter. This is America. I won't speak long on my campaign, but someone asked me as I walked in about the Constitution because she wanted to make sure that I truly was a constitutionalist. <laughs> <laughs> and I get it. She deserves to know who I am. But what I am is someone who never forgets what he came, where he came from. And I will remind everybody, someone said, Cindy, I heard you talking about your race. I was a little sad, and someone said you were playing the race card. I said, my dear, of course they're going to say I'm playing the race card. Of course they will. Because Republicans have been afraid to talk about race. What a shame. What a shame, because the progressives have been using race to divide us. I am unafraid to use race to unite us, yeah. to remind people of who we are. That was the party of abolition, yes. the party that ended slavery, yes. the party of civil rights, the yes. party of women's rights. And today, in the 21st century, we are the party of parents' rights. What I am not is someone who can be bought and paid for. Oh, I got the call, semi step aside, step down. There's a position here for you, but not governor, not governor. You know, you take this position, like someone else took this position, and your campaign will be just fine. We've got big donors lined up. And then today, at the state fair in Pierce County, a state representative went to the booth and had my poster taken down and stated to that board representative, of Pierce County Republican Party. Simi Bird is not endorsed by the elected officials of Olympia. Take it down. Wow, that's, that happened today. Wouldn't happen that here. happened today. Oh no, that would not happen in Island County. That wouldn't happen in Benton County. And by the way, in the 11 counties that I have been endorsed in and by, those brave patriots who understand that the Constitution talks about equal opportunity, not equity of outcome. No one is entitled to office in this country. No one. No one. But people choose who is entitled to office in this country, and certainly in Washington State. Oh, they may not be ready for change. They may not be ready to make history. They may want more of the same status quo, the same old, same old. They may keep talking about, well, you know what, name brand recognition. You know, they can forget about Rob McKenna, who was the attorney general. He had statewide recognition. How'd that work out? Yeah. Certainly wasn't a governor. I checked. <laughs> no. I want you to know that we, the people, are still alive. And I want you to also know, I have every intent to bring unity. I have every intent to bring unity. Yeah. Every intent. Because when I get elected, when I get elected, no, I'm going to go back. When I win the convention next year in April, I will immediately take steps to bring unity to the party. That's right. And I will never, never violate Ronald Reagan's 11th commandment. Never. We will always preserve that integrity 
a character to say we don't go after one another and talk or disparage another Republican. Amen. And I will not. Amen. But I will speak truth and let you know what's going on. And hold me accountable, always. That's fine. That is fine. But my friends, I want you to know that we are rolling strong. <laughs> 11 counties, 8 sheriffs, and we're just getting warmed up. Yahoo! We're just getting warmed up, baby. I'm working 67 days a week. I'm all over the entire state. You can talk about King County all you want to. In my last few minutes, I want you to know this. They said Simi Bird couldn't get elected on the west side because they thought I was from the east side. The kid from the ghetto of East Oakland moved here when he was seven years old to Seattle, Washington. Raised in Seattle, Washington. Dropped out of high school in Seattle, Washington. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. No. I'm, well, I'm finishing up my PhD now. I got a bachelor's degree, summa cum laude. I got a master's degree from Illinois. I mean, I, I, I correct it because this is America. Never give up on a child or a citizen. We're, we're just getting warmed up. That's right. This is called meritocracy. Warmed up, baby. Campaign to ever be invited to the Juneteenth in King County. We were the first Republican gubernatorial candidate to ever forget that. The first Republican candidate of any sort to ever participate in the oldest, the largest, the most prestigious black American celebration in Seattle, Washington called the Moja Fest. We were the only one, and we were there representing. And I want you to know, those big 4x8 signs on both sides of the 4x4 truck toting a very large American flag, America, I didn't cover up Republican. And when we make what march down that street, right, march down that street, people's hands were going up in the air. It's about time! It's about time! And so let me end with this. It's about time that we, the people, PCOs, captains, and our executive board of Island County, you started it. Let's finish it. We got work to do mm -hmm. with many more counties that are going to be coming on board between now and convention. Let's finish it because in 2024, brothers and sisters, my fellow Americans, we are going to give Olympia the bird. God bless yeah. you and God bless the yeah. Democrats that you're kind of the adult in the room. <laughs> Am I wrong? I mean, it's kind of, you know, they're, they're, they're resorting to name calling all the little, the little childish little things. I'm just so tired of it. All right. Maybe we can get somebody in there that's good. Let's stop having